Hello, this is Angelo with the Brothers That Just Do Gutters, and today we're doing a short video on heated gutters. This particular heated gutter is going to have heat cable as well as one guard. What I'd love for you to do right now is to subscribe to our channel. Again, I hope you love the video. Stay tuned. First, measure the length of the gutter and multiply it by two so that the heat cable can be double looped through the entire gutter. Next, measure from the top of the gutter to the bottom of the downspout. This can be an exact measurement as the heat cable will only go through the downspout once. Next, measure the distance to your closest power source. This will also be an exact measurement. Lay out your cable on the ground and measure to make sure you have enough to double loop through the gutter, single loop down the downspout and all the way to the power source. Next step is to terminate one side. You can do this by scoring around the outside of the cable to take off the first black layer. should be able to pull this off easily after scoring a couple times. The next step is to cut off the metal insulation layer. You can use snips to do this. Make sure you get the cut as close as possible. To terminate the cable, you will install it into a termination plug. This plug comes with silicone inside of it to make it watertight. The next step is to run the terminated end underneath the hangers on the bottom of the gutter all the way to the end cap. Next, you will loop the longer side of the cable over the top of the hangers and all the way down to the opposite end of the gutter. While you're doing this, you want to make sure that there are no loops or twists in your cable. The next step is to loop the long side of the cable around the last hanger and feed it down the downspout. As you're running the cable, be careful for sharp edges that may be around on the aluminum gutter. Once the cable comes through the bottom of the downspout, it may help to have an extra person help feed through the downspout. Once the cable is fed all the way down, you want to make sure you have some slack because the next step is to install one guard. If it's too tight, you won't be able to fit the guard in place. Start this process by installing an end cap and sealing it with silicone. Next, you will take the mesh out of the chassis of the one guard and install the chassis only. Make sure that the chassis is secure exactly in the place where you need it to be. Next, you will lay the cable on the back side of the chassis and reinstall the mesh to hold it in place. Be very careful of the edges of your mesh when doing this so that they don't get messed up and frayed. This will make it harder to install. Continue this process until you get to the end of the run. Be 
Be very careful not to dent the mesh when reinstalling it and always overlap the mesh. Secure the one guard to the gutter with three quarter inch or less zip screws. Secure the one guard to the fascia board with inch and a half screws. Then measure to the end of the gutter to find the measurement for your cut piece of one guard. Make sure this is an accurate measurement. The next step is to cut a small channel into the end of your chassis to leave space for the cable to sit on an edge that is dull. This will prevent the sharp edges from cutting the cable. Next step is to reinstall the mesh. Once the mesh is securely in place, you will install the one guard end cap. Remember to put silicone inside the end cap before installing. You can use end cap crimps to crimp the end cap on to the end of the gutter. As you can see, this leaves a very nice finish. Next, you will drill a hole into the side of the downspout that is the same size as the grommet that you are going to install. In this case, we're using a one inch bit. Then take off the bottom elbow so that you can easily run the cable back up the downspout and out of the hole. As you're running the cable out of the hole, be very careful of the sharp edges. Next, reinstall the elbow. The last step is to install the grommet on the heat cable and into the downspout. You can do this by feeding the cable through the grommet. And sliding the grommet into place. The grommet has grooves all around it that allow the aluminum to clip right into it. This leaves a very nice, neat, and safe finish. Then wrap up your cable so it is not a tripping hazard. Now you are ready to install your plug with the GFI to the end of your cable so it can be plugged into the electric source.